you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money. You should too. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. The link's in the description. Thank you. Howdy doody, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Moist Tea Gaming. Yes, I have returned to naval action and I plan on sticking around a little bit more this time so this video how to make your first million volume 3 and now the third one I've done but hopefully you'll get making money really quickly and it doesn't even require that much time or anything else like that so I'm just gonna get straight in here First things you want to do, right? You've just started the game. You're probably in Carlisle, not Carlisle, Kingston, Mortimer, or the Port Fort Royal, whichever one you start as the French. I've never been the French. Or the Spaniards in La Habana. Doesn't matter which one you're in. All you need to do when you start off, because you'll have a little basic brig, one of these little things, which you can get anywhere for free. And it's just turning night time in game, so that's gonna look a little bit naff. But anyway, you get your little boat and you look down here in the the book, go into economy, and you'll find some passenger missions. Now these easy peasy. All you have to do is sail to a location. This is just to get you started. Alright? So I'm currently in Bomb K and I will get fifteen grand just for sailing to Bungle K. Now that's alright, isn't it? Now, I'm in Bungle K, but they're in every single port like you could possibly imagine. So if you go to Kingston, you start in Kingston, you'll have a list of passenger delivery missions. You go and do a few of them, and soon enough, you will have a good few grand. Now, you only need to do a few of them. Don't stray too far. So, really, if you're floating in GB, you probably go from Kingston to Pedro, and then there's usually a little triangle of them around here. I think it only lets you do a few of them a day, so don't get too giddy with it, but once you've maxed it, you've maxed it. Doesn't matter which nation you're in, the missions are all the same. The more timer, they'll be floating around there. Spanish and the French as well. Just one thing to be aware of, make sure that they are in a friendly port. So if you're GB, it will be a GB flag on the port. You could just sail in there. Or a port that is available to all. It's a little symbol like that. Anybody can go in there. If you've got one in an enemy port, say you go from Les Case to St. Louis, and you are not in a trader ship, you can't get in and you can't do the mission. So make sure you do it that way. It saves you a lot of time sailing around just to go there going, oh, I can't do it. Once you've done a few of them, you'll probably have around 100k. Great stuff. Nice little starting easy do. And that's where the fun begins. So then you want to go and have a look-see at where tobacco is produced and I'll show you now if you go on the map by pressing M click on more trader tool there's a search bar go on and he's type trader then tobacco none of these Cuban or other ones just normal tobacco click on that and then it'll come up with this list of every port on the planet click on the P until you've got dots up here. These dots represent the port which you can produce tobacco at. So, Bon K here is one of them. Right there. That's why you've gone there. If you're in Pirates, Ragged K is a good one. The French have a few over here somewhere. I think it's Codrington. 
and then there's some up here i think it's san mateo they produce it and there's a few i can't see it on the map because of this over here somewhere as well there's several find the closest one preferably in a friendly port so if you're gb get yourself to bone k if you're in france i mean yeah, there's plenty of them here there's bureau fort which is all the way up here currently this port is available to all so you can do it there as well but it is a bit of a trek so maybe not pirates i recommend ragged k at first the french is one of these i think it's codrington probably go there first spanish uh not too sure if you're the spanish you're probably better off going up the florida coast to one of these san mateo it is technically a spanish port so you should be okay but yes try and get to the nearest one which is as friendly as can be and when you get there so if you just landed in bone cave for example you're going to want to build an outpost if you click on manage outposts you'll see a list of outposts you probably if you've just started only have kingston i've got a couple of others bone k for example now the first two are much cheaper than these ones the more you get the more expensive it is i think it's something like 15k something like that we'll get an outpost here once you then have said outpost in whichever port you are in go down to here buildings and crafting little house building there Click on build and you will see a list of things that you could potentially build one of which will be the tobacco plantation now this requires 50,000 reels which you think oh my Gideon that is a lot I've just earned all that money I don't want to spend it but believe me you do get yourself a tobacco plantation when you do you'll see a little building it will only be level one and it might produce 10 tobacco a day and you'll be able to store maybe 20 something like that doesn't sound like much but trust me this starts snowballing and it produces those maybe 10 every 24 hours so you'll be waiting a little while so once you've done your running around with your passenger missions and got down here and set that up you're probably thinking oh, i'll leave it for a day absolutely it's what i do all the time so then the next day you go on and you think oh right that's produced a bit of tobacco but i've got no money fine go do some more passenger missions just run around go get them maybe another 100k and then you by the time you come back you should be able to collect said tobacco from wherever it is that you've done it now, I say go get some passage of missions first because it costs you money to grab the tobacco. Each one is three and a half grand. So if you were to first go and do some passenger missions to be able to collect all of this, I mean, I'm collecting 26 and it's going to cost me 91 grand. And you think, why am I doing this? I'll show you in a minute. But yes, just go do some passenger missions and then come back to your port and grab some of this so i'm gonna go collect this now i've just collected 26 tobacco little modest amount I'm gonna go in my yacht it doesn't matter which boat you're in the normal basic brig I mean, what does that hold that hold that's got enough hold space in there to stick your tobacco in that is fine and if you're worried about losing it don't be as long as you stay in these green areas that they've recently introduced to the game nobody can come and murder you so you're fine so gb has a particular good advantage for this because all this area is now secure and so on and so on if you end up going all the way up here nobody can get you along the coast stick to the coast if you need to travel and you really don't want to get murdered just follow the green stuff and then skip over there and then go up there for example but you're in a basic brig half decent people shouldn't murder you in that but some people are a bit of a nuisance so if they do then that's on them regardless you've always got the option for the green zone now i have the yacht this is just a speedy thing i've got this because i've played the game for years so it's just the same just a little bit i'm going to stick the tobacco in that all 26 of it 
weighs half the amount there so you know basic brick you could do this the same make sure you've got a little bit of crew on there you don't need any cannons you don't need any hull reps don't overthink it just get in your boat it'll tell you oh no i've got no reps but don't worry about it just go then you leave the port and enter the open world and now you're probably thinking what on earth am i going to be doing with this well again if you open up your map click on not protractor the trader tool and you go on tobacco it should still be there then click on distance and you will see uh, you want the smaller numbers at the top and then you'll see a cell next to it and then oh look that one is really close and i can sell it for 7700 a piece yes that is nice so that is pedro k and as you can see with the tax on pedro k 6.4 million in just tax alone which is usually around 10 percent so really, people have made 64 million just yesterday by doing this. So if you're one of the pirates and you think, ah, yeah, well, where am I going to go with this? Well, if you're in Ragged K, it's much easier for you to do it if you're in the ports. But I'm presuming Pittstown is going to be the best, because if you have a quick look, 4.3 million worth of tax. That's probably what they do. Go from Ragged K to Pittstown. And then over to the French, Codrington, that produces tobacco if you set it up right. And then St. John, just to the south, 3.1 million worth of tax. And if you look on your little port thing, it will probably be there. The Spanish, uh, well, if you go up here, I presume, if you have a look, San Augusta, 4.1 million and the port that produces it is San Mateo it's just there easy easy money little quick sale all right so I'm going to go over to Pedro K now don't worry you don't need an outpost or anything you just need to get yourself over there with the tobacco in your hold so you're sailing around uh, to get this little arrow there that tells me where I want to go click on the map just in case you're not sure Double click on where you are, so bonk K, and then right click on where you want to be. Right in the mouth of the port, easy peasy, there. And then you're probably thinking, oh, I might stray out the save zone. Well, no. Ooh. Sir William is a fan. <laughs> He's, um, yeah, this little green symbol down here is the safe zone marker if that is there you are safe you cannot be murdered by enemy players so don't worry about it now the sale probably takes around five minutes in a yacht like this and maybe eight nine minutes in the basic brig something to note when you are sailing around make sure you click this fishing icon down here you'll get a lot of uses rubbish for example well fish you are fishing and salt i don't know how you get that on the end of a fishing line but it is what it is but you'll often get well not often occasionally get sealed bottles now they're very good keep hold of them i'll probably cover them in another video but keep it on every now and again if you are using the compass make sure you have a quick gander you can't always get it dead on in a straight line you'll see that you're drifting just redo your little clicky thing and make sure you correct your course occasionally the longer that you are sailing for the more drift you will get in the previous how to make your first million videos there was a feature called kill missions which i strongly advise that you did now, they've removed them from the game. Hopefully, they will come back at some point. I did enjoy those, but... Yeah, this video completely... Uh, the old one is obsolete. If you want to make your first million in a quick manner, this video. Ignore the other one. Just coming up to Pedro K now. Couple of minutes, not too long. 
Don't worry about these other ships. If you can see the name of the ship, they're not going to come and murder you. It's just a AI ship. Oh, we've caught on some shallows. Dodgy sailing skills. Once we get in there. Ready? There we go. Right. I am now in the destination. So, Bon K to Pedro K. Maybe you've just traveled to St. John's or wherever. Now you want to make some money. So you get your hold up with the barrel. This, right click it, send it to the warehouse. And then in the warehouse, even if you don't have a outpost here, doesn't matter. You can always get a temporary holding area. I don't have an outpost here and you can still do it. And then you want to open up the shop, which is the two little balancey things. I forgot what you call that. Then go on resources. It's in here somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. There, tobacco. Sell. Don't buy it, whatever you do. But sell. And look. So it cost me around 97k to get all those resources out. But now I'm going to double my money just for that trip. And on that profit, I've made around 100k. Easy money. All I had to do was sail up and down. Simple as that. But now you're probably thinking, Ooh, I've got some money. I want to spend it. But I'll tell you what to spend it on. First, I have to travel back up to Bone K. I advise that you don't get a second outpost in Pedro K. Simply because... Or, or wherever you're selling your stuff. Simply because... It will soak up all of your outposts and you won't be able to... Uh, the more that you have, the more expensive it gets. So just get a fastish boat if you're in a rush, you know, something like a um, a Trader's Lynx if you really want to go for that. I mean, that's fast as anything is that little thing. Basic brig will do fine now. But I'm just going to go and steadily sail back. Main reason you don't want to use up all the outposts as well... I mean, say for example, you have an outpost in Bone K and you're doing what I've just done there and then you've got another one, for example, I now have another one in San Mateo and I'm going to do the same thing into San Augusta. More money, why not? It's a free outpost. <laughs> Easy. And I've got DLCs, so I'm quite fortunate that I can, it won't show me in here, but I can have around 10 outposts. If you don't have the DLCs, I think it's maybe 8 or 6. I can't quite remember. But you don't want to use them all up. I mean, I've got one in Kingston right now. I'm basically just setting up, essentially. But, you know, if, if you want to go in combat, Bahamas, you're going to want one in Shroud K. In over here, big PvP zone, if you're into that. You're probably going to want one in Lamona. The patrol zones, maybe in Tumbadu. Keep them spare. Honestly, it is not worth having another outpost in the place where you're going to be selling it. For the sake of a little trip down there, don't bother. Ooh, one thing I forgot to mention. If you are planning on going all the way up, say, to San Mateo or wherever... Make sure you get some doubloons. You don't need many. Just a few. Right? Because what will happen is, if you go and sail all the way up to San Mateo, for example, and you set up an outpost and everything else all good, and then you want to get back, if you don't want to actually sail all the way down here, <laughs> like I've, many people have made this mistake before, but you can teleport down there. Now, if you're half familiar with the game, you'll know what that is. I'll show you when we get in port, but it does consume a few doubloons. Now, you don't want to get caught all the way up there and then go, oh, no, I've got to sail all the way back, because that is a long sail. Just keep some doubloons in your hold. If you don't have any, don't do it. I'll be doing another video on how to get doubloons and things, and probably in one of the combat ones. Then you'll be fine just probably saved you several hours worth of faffing and rage <laughs> if you were going to do that anyway so just getting back into bone k looks quite pretty slave traders are apparently here but anyway 
Righty all back in Bone K, made a little bit of money, and now I'll show you this now. San Mateo, that's where I've got another tobacco factory. If I click on transport, it will cost me ten doubloons. That's because I'm of uh, higher rank. The higher your rank goes, the more doubloons it will cost you. But it saves you so much time, believe me, it is worth it. Now, I just blew up a ship that I found. I think it was a Renime, I think. I can't quite remember. And then it had some doubloons on it. So that's how I got those basic doubloons. So I'm going to teleport up to San Mateo now. All the way up here now. There we go. So I've set up another tobacco plant here. There we go. 43 of them here. Fantastic. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Collect. Wow, 43. That's going to cost me 150 grand. However, I will make 150 grand on top of that once I've sold them. So again, this is a free port. You don't need a ship here. You could do it in your basic rig if you really want to. You might not be able to stick them all in. But in another trip, you'll be fine. You could probably get another boat and just teleport it up here. So again, I'm going to go and make some more money. And straight out of the port, you'll see that... Oh, look, an enemy player. Panic. No, don't panic. You're in the safe zone. You cannot get murdered. Don't worry about it. As long as you're in the safe zone, you're not going to get slapped. So every new player... Well, every player is safe. So I'm just going to go to San Augusta and sell it. You might think, oh, no, you're British. Why are you giving the enemy money? Well... I want some money as well. If you are going to go somewhere that's long distance, make sure you do have some cash already, because remember, it costs you money to set up an outpost. Make sure you've got it, because you don't want to get all, all the way up there or to wherever you're going. Find out you don't quite have enough money, then have to sail all the way back. There's nothing worse. The port is legit just there. I can see the port we've just left to go to here. It's legit like a minute of a sail. It's ridiculous. So here we are, San Agustin, or whatever you want to call it. Again, put the. I don't have an outpost here. You don't need one. I'm going to put the stuff in the port, go to the store, resources, find it. There it is. Oh, I've got even more money here. And there you go, I've just made 170,000 reels. Lovely. Look, I'm already up to half a million nearly. It's as easy as that. No combat involved, no skill involved. You just need to go from A to B, really short distance. Getting up here took a little bit of time, but once you're there, you're there. And now you might be thinking, I want to make more money. Alrighty, back in Bon K. You want to make more money? Well, you go onto the buildings tab, which is the little house. And up here, you'll probably see that that is level 1. You'll probably see the output is 10 and the storage is 20. Well, if you were to level up that building, I can't... Yeah, upgrade, it's greyed out for me. This will cost you 50,000 reels. However, it will up your production to 20 and your storage to 40. The more of this you make, the more you can sell. And yeah, you produce more of it quicker and it just snowballs, absolutely snowballs. And that is why the tax is ridiculous in Pedro K, for example. So you do this a few times, you know, say if you run out of money and you think, oh no, I can't collect it, or I really want to upgrade that building, do some passenger missions does it matter it's nice and easy requires no skill no rank you don't need anything just go do it and you'll easily get the money in no time to be able to pump out this tobacco even if say you forget and you spend money on something and you're like oh no i can't collect it just do some passenger missions honestly easy peasy now once you have this set up to level three you'll be making quite a bit of money but a tip to make sure you make the most of it, once the storage 
is at maximum and the produced is at maximum then it will stop producing now that will probably take two days to fill up so what you're better off doing if you're quite heavily invested into this game and you love it even if it just takes five minutes log on collect it and then log off again that way you're still producing it does require you to have a little bit of cash in the hold but if you've got it you've got it and it just means that when you do have time to play the game to make the sale you will have loads to just to go ship over and make an absolute million i hope this video has helped you i really do this is the easiest less skill involved less time consuming way to make money in the game right now everybody can do it even if you don't like combat you can do this it is as simple as that i will be doing more videos i'll be doing combat videos i'll be doing all sorts i'll probably redo all the tutorials because it's a new season i can do that again so i shall make sure i do a a video on that if you have any requests let me know in the comments i will see them more than likely i'm also planning on making my own clan everybody can join don't really care happy dappy now i'm not going to be able to go as professional like what some people do where it's all on spreadsheets and everything else i can't be bothered with any of that but i'm going to be doing my own clan anyway if you want to sail with me at some point that's great I also have a Discord. Fantastic. Even if you don't want to join the clan, you want to join another clan because it's a bit more organised. Great. And if you see me online, pop me a message and we'll see what we can do. This is a multiplayer game after all and teamwork is key. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a pleasant day and get yourself some tea because you're going to need it for this game. Thank you very much. Have a good one.